is up? Apex Reaper here. Playing more The Dwarves. Where we are in the land of the Fifthlings? Yep, of the Fifthlings. I almost forgot. What a badass volcano. Look at that thing. And now we're going to Penny Field. Rudeka is, contrary to what the name suggests, a large city. If Rodario is to be believed, more than 70,000 people live here, a number that you find it hard to even imagine. But while you walk through the streets, you don't doubt that it's the truth. Never before have you seen such huge masses of people. If we are looking for somewhere to quench our thirst or for a roof over our heads, then I would recommend the Golden Well Tavern. And we can find everything we need for the rest of our journey at the Big Market. Just say where you want to go, Tangdil, and I'll show you the way. Big Market. The Big Market at the city's south gate certainly lives up to its name. You have never seen a market on such a scale. Stands, large and small, as far as the eye can see. Everything you could possibly need can be found here, as well as plenty of things that seem to have no use at all. While you push your way through the crowd to get to the trader Rodario wants to introduce to you, you overhear two peasants talking about elves. No, I tell you, it was elves. Pale skin, pointy ears. Yeah, something strange is going on these days. Old Trunderwood from down Acre Hill Way said he saw some pointy ears too. Come to think of it, where's he been all week? Here we are. Rodario's sudden announcement draws your attention away from the locals to the tent that you're now standing in front of. Welcome to Brand's Potpourri. Whatever your heart may desire, I can supply. What you got? You got food? That is mine. Ooh, what is that? 10% chance to regenerate 20% of health during successful attacks. That's nice. Increase damage specials. Very nice. By 60%. Ooh, that costs a thousand. Wow. Every two seconds during battle? Wow. Well, let's sell stuff we don't use. And we sure the hell is don't use this. We don't... Oh, you suck. Get back in there. I pushed the wrong button. Sell both. But at least I pushed the right button to get me the food this time. Oh, we don't need this one. So. We don't need these two. So. And big ass shield. So. And now, I want... That's 1,200. Well, if I buy that, I can get rid of this one. So I'm usually trying to keep everyone to have different things on. Don't know if that's wise or not, but it's what I've been doing. So, so. Bye. And I also want this one. And now we only have 600 and we can't buy that because that costs a thousand. Unless I can sell stuff. I'm buying the one of initiative so I can get rid of this one. Oh, let's try that again. I, no, where am I? I can get rid of this one. And I'm buying the special attack one so I can get rid of this one. And now I have enough for... Wait, did I not buy... No, I bought that. Yeah, this is the thousand one. This is the one that was good. Alright. I probably have more than I think. I still have 2,500 left. But I'm good. I'm good with that. Let's go to the tavern. See what kind of gossip we can find. You follow Rodario through the lively streets until he reaches a run-down two-story building. You hope that this dump isn't the tavern that Rodario recommends. You prepare yourself for the worst. But the inside of the tavern surprises you all. The walls are clad with dark, finely ornamented wood. The floor is clean. The tables are weighed down with good food. And a hot fire is burning in the fireplace. 
one should never judge a book by its cover. The guests look you over full of curiosity, and many nod a greeting. The haggard woman behind the bar greets you loudly. Rodario, you old rogue! What are you doing here? And you've got dwarves with you! <laughs> I don't see one my whole life, and then several come along in the same month. We are on an important mission, Madame Flory, and could do with a place to stay the night. Rodario introduces you and negotiates a good price for a few beds and a night's lodgings. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. You said several the same month. Who else have you seen? Sorry for asking, but you said you'd seen some other dwarves recently. You're thinking of Gandagar's group and wonder whether they might have reached the kingdom of the fifthlings already. Oh, no. Yes, a nice bloke from the west. Paid for his room for a month in advance and then disappeared. Travelling lights. The landlady's expression darkens. That was three weeks ago. If he doesn't come back soon, I'll have to release the room. Sneaky, sneaky time. You give Namora a sign and sneak onto the first floor. The half-alf appears moments later. To your surprise, she has Balandis with her, who must have caught something of what was said. I want to know who the dwarf who is sneaking around here is. Perhaps he belongs to Gandagar's group. After apologizing to various guests for intruding, you are left with just one untried door. Namora picks the lock and you enter the room unseen. The room is bigger than all the rooms in the tavern you have seen so far, and all just for one guest. There are maps, various pieces of notepaper, and three notebooks on the table. The notes are partly written in Dwarvish, and partly in the language of humans. The three of you scan through them, until Balandis draws your attention to a map, on which the route from the Kingdom of the Firstlings to the Kingdom of the Fifthlings is marked. What would make a firstling travel to the perished land, or even to the kingdom of the fifthlings? You believe you've found an explanation. Here, this letter. I have found a way, but I don't know if I will return safely with Star Slasher. That's why I leave to you, dear Barris, my notes, may you, and, and so on. Star Slasher? You have come across this name in the notes a few times already, but you just shrug your shoulders and throw the letter back onto the table in disappointment. You had hoped to have found out some news on the whereabouts of the other group. Uh, a sword. Apparently it was given to Gizelbert I and I by a caravan travelling from the other lands. It seems we're dealing with a treasure hunter. I want that sword. I want to find it first. I don't need to go to the market anymore. Let's go to Leah Hill. Then probably go there. Or not. They're not going to tell me what that is. Maybe there. Maybe there. Always go to the big places. You are woken with a jolt in the middle of the night by a blood curdling scream. Ooh. You look around in panic and see that the others have been woken too. But only Geralda has beads of sweat on her brow. She's breathing heavily. Concerned, you go over to her. I can remember. The Alpha. They are doing experiments on the children of the Smith. We have to save them. Yeah, I believe her. By Vrakus, if the Alpha are experimenting on dwarves, we can't just ignore it. We have to free the prisoners. We can't save the world if we ignore the suffering right in front of our eyes. We will help Geralda. Boandal and the others accept your decision. Geralda nods at you gratefully. Where? Can you tell me where? According to Geralda, there are Alfar experiments experimenting on dwarves somewhere nearby. She thinks that she has the results. She is the result of the experiments. Even though the creation of Kingfire was parody, you cannot stand blah blah blah. Yeah. So it's nearby. Okay. Maybe there. Let's 
find out. When you reach Acre Hill, there isn't a single villager in sight. An uneasy feeling creeps over you, which finally turns into certainty when you see red paintings on the walls of the houses. Alpha. This was not Acre Hill. It's the second time the city name is different than the one they set. Weird. Uh, look at clues. As expected, you don't find any survivors. Okay. But there are also no undead. The perished land has not yet advanced this far. You discover some footprints on the northern edge of the village. It was orcs. Looks as though they waited here while the point ears wreaked havoc in the village. It seems like they moved on towards the north. The pictures painted in blood tell the horrifying story of how the Alpha came to the village and killed the inhabitants. You also find a few elaborately carved bones, some larger ones, like those of humans, some smaller and stronger, like those of dwarves. When you reach the other end of the village, disgust is written in the faces of your companions. None of you says a word. Yeah. Do what we can to help, I guess. You gather all the bones you can find together and burn them. You wash over the paintings with water from the well. You weren't able to prevent this gruesome incident, but you don't want to leave a single trace of it behind. Man, so all these places are going to be destroyed by orcs and elves? Bastards. You walk through the villages that once blossomed, but are now deserted due to the advance of the parish land. The colour has drained away from the wood of many of the houses, just as it has from the countryside itself. A carpet of withered plants rustles and crackles under your feet. You don't know if the parish land can ever be driven away again, and even if it can, it is questionable whether people will ever live here again. You sigh and try to drive these dark thoughts away from your mind. Oh, this place does not have a name. Ooh, do you smell that? Come, I like! Without even waiting for you, Boindil runs over the hill and disappears behind it. You follow him. And as you reach the brow, you see a very strange scene before you. I told you, you shouldn't touch them. Ooh, he talks. But I was hungry. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I like this big guy. I want him on my team. And I want him to have... An auto initiative. Yeah, make your special attacks really strong. Okay, you're out. You're in. New girl. Oh, man, I forgot to look at the new girl stuff. We have push. Rams an enemy with her shield. He is knocked back. Da what? He is knocked back. Damages others in the path and falls down. Meh. Stabs a single enemy with the handle of her axe and deals a lot of damage. Oh, she's got like a sweeping arch that will attack. That's kind of cool. Uh, but I don't know if I want to use you or not. Tungdale, Bowendale, Darun, and Namora? Namora's kind of weak compared to the rest of us. I think we'll go with it. Do you have something equipped? Yes, you do. Uh, Bowendale, you do not have something equipped. And I was giving you the initiative one. And then Tungdale, you stay alive. Get over there. Stay alive. And, yeah, we still only can use four characters, right? Yeah. Okay, let's start the fight. Kill all orcs. 
awesome. Kill 50 orcs and 25 undead. I like this mission. Bring it on, fool. And again. Oh, undead, you gotta Kill. chop them in their head. Get on me, guys. I don't know if you guys are fighting or not. He hardly put up a fight. And again. There we go. He's got no head. Uh, let's keep myself healed. Kill. Holy crap. It's really good. You guys fighting? Good. Vile creature. Did I get him? Yeah, did. Okay. Yeah. There we go. He hardly put up a fight. Kill. Just make sure. Good stays. Stays down. And again. Oh, how are you guys Who's doing? Next? You guys are okay. Kill. So far, so good. Put up a fight. You got him. Good girl. Oh, we got arrow bitches coming at us. What? Get out of here. Please wait a moment. What? No. Oh crap. Uh, people are getting hurt. You fight on your own. Who do we? Oh, hey. There we go. Stay over here. Oh shit! Shoot! 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 Come on! Stay away! Stay away! Do the oink oink thing. You'll heal yourself. Oh, but that ain't good. Goodbye. What? Dude, get free! Get gone! Go! Oh, I don't care about that! Go! What the hell are you, frenzied or something? Oink oink, little peggies! You fell down. I did not say to do that. Okay, that's all good. You're, you're healed. Go. And again. You missed. Kill. You missed a lot. I have Bowenda. Give me a hand. No, you're gonna die. And what okay, now? you went down. Huh? But it seems like people can go down. So I I'm okay with that. Yes. Yeah. Oops, I did not need that Kill. move. And again. Kill. Here we go. Kill it's alright now. We're good. And again. Vile good creature. night. No. Oops. Quick enough. That was my fault. I took you down. I can't do that yet. Okay. Well, that's not what I wanted you to do in the first place, but it's alright. And again. There we go. Kill. You sure? Okay, he's down. Can I revive my teammates? No. Killed. What? Oh, I missed. I didn't get. I didn't do it fast enough. It's alright. Yeah. Vile creature. Tungdale, the person who was not a fighter his yeah. entire life, is doing the kills. Best. Why you gotta shoot at me? Huh? Yeah. Fucker. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people gotta shoot at me now. Come on, take him down. Killed. There we go. And again. Very nice. Vile creature. Very, very nice. Let's make sure if I know these guys down. Killed. We have to really take them down Vile or they creature. get back up. Kill. Vile creature. Wow, they're really like doing yeah. nothing to me. How the hell are you guys dying so fast? Yeah. Yeah. Vile creature. Tongue Dill, you're the shit, man. Oh, you think you're fast? Kill. 
All right. We don't get that many more left. And again. Vile creature. Yeah. Did I get him? Yeah, I did get him. Okay. Killed. One more. Yeah. Undead. And again. Now, orcs. Yeah. What? Uh, I ain't doing that. That's near the ledge. Screw yeah. that. You could fall down and die yourself. The chaotic battle between the orcs, the undead, and you comes to the best possible conclusion. No one else is standing but you. You decide to have a little look around. The closer you get to the murky pool, the worse it stinks of decay and death. At first, you thought it was only dirty water, but for as much as you can make out through the gloom, it seems almost black and has wondrous streaks. It's a map of the surroundings. Not far from your current position is a place clearly marked with a red cross. Is it another orc camp or even the Alfar camp? You mark the place on your own map. Maybe it's the place where the uh, experiments are going on. We got anything over here? Don't touch the fire. Fire is hot. Where's the... Possession dwarf lady. Oh, there she is. Get over there. You can do it. You discover a file that looks like the one Geralda carries with her. Before you can get a proper look at it, hey. Geralda is suddenly standing next to you, and she wrenches it out of your hand. She turns it back and forth excitedly, but then disappointment spreads across her face. The container is empty. Without a word, she goes back to examining the surroundings. Okay, that means we are close to... The experiment in place. You tremble at the thought that you could end up the same way. You hope that one of your companions would have sympathy with you if you were to die in the perish land. I believe that's it. Moving on. Maybe. Holy crap, this place is bigger than I thought. Wow. It's huge. Or that's a dead end. Okay. How do I get out of here? Yeah, uh, go and touch the fire. Fire is hot. Nope. I'll go this way. Aha, continue on your way. With the probable location of another camp up your sleeve, you continue on your way. Levels! Ooh, level 10. Where are you? Go down. There you go. Shield bash. Okay. So, that means you're max level? Ooh. What you get? 
magic shield that reduces the damage on the target significantly for a short amount of time. Heavenly heals an ally with 50% chance of leaping to the next... Yes. You just made the team. You got healing, you made the team. Oh, look at you. Three-point stance and all that. Decay. Enemies in his vicinity receive lots of damage when they panic. Mighty March fights a path through his enemies and causes a lot of damage and everyone in his way. I kind of like that. Just plow right through him. Burr, 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 burr. I like it. Because, you know, you're always on the team. You're a big boy. Yeah. Okay stuff, I guess. So, oh, there it is. It's gotta be the other one. Alright, cool. So I'll go there, 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 then make my way to there. Alright. We'll do all that in the next episode. If you like this episode, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. If you're new and you haven't, subscribe for more content. And uh, Nope. And also check out mygamingcareer.com. A great place for gamers to get together, share their content, and talk about video games. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. You all stay positive. Thanks for watching.